Here's a video of me making a rear cargo deck for my 2014 FJ Cruiser to house a fridge slide and 45 liter ice cove fridge that I picked up. Had some half inch plywood that I had laying around from a previous project that I ended up using. But if I had to redo it, I would definitely go with three quarter inch for increased strength. Ended up routering all the edges just to clean it all up and sanding everything down to prevent splintering, thinking I was gonna keep the wood grain look. But as you'll see later, I ended up painting everything black and throwing some carpeting on top. Built up a frame for the fridge slide to sit on top of so that I could add a tilt feature to it. And uh, join the frame with uh, pocket holes. And I uh, decided to throw in a cutting board in between here. Utilize 5 16 T nuts and 5 16 bolts to attach everything together. And uh, just checking tolerances, making sure everything articulated the way it needed to. The ISCO fridge slide has two lockout positions uh, halfway and then full extension. And uh, here I am painting everything black and then eventually went with adding carpet on top, which I'm glad I did. Uh, it'll help reduce any banging on top of the wood from the rear cargo area. So use some uh, adhesive spray and then cut out the carpeting and put everything together. Added this piano hinge so that I could fold up the left side to gain access to the bottle jack as well as load in longer or larger pieces of uh, cargo in the rear of the uh, FJ. Ended up soldering uh, through the holes so that I could put the uh, bolts through to the T-nuts. And then added some angled aluminum to protect the edge that may be banged up from loading, unloading cargo equipment. And then added uh, some extra carpeting over the piano hinge just to protect that from cargo. Again, final tolerances, just checking if everything's working the way it should. And uh, for those longer bolts, I could bolt that all the way through to prevent the uh, deck from hinging if I wanted to just lock everything down or completely remove it and bolt directly onto the deck itself. So here it is. At the halfway extension, everything felt good. But in the full extension, when it's fully pulled out, uh, just the weight just doesn't feel as secure as I'd like. So I'm gonna need to figure out how to make this a little bit more durable. So here it is at full extension. For me, I could, I could support the weight of it, but anyone else, they may not. And uh, it just might be a little bit more dangerous than uh, needed. There are some safety straps in the rear holding everything together, so it wouldn't just fall out completely.